Yo guys, so this is Jerk and welcome back to my channel. In today's event and adventure guys, we're here in Dusitani Hotel and Dusit Residence Dita San Davao City. So we're joining an event uh, which is the planting hall by the TGIP Foundation. So, uh, they're going to invite us or promote uh, planting more trees in Davao City and promote saving Mother Earth. But before that, guys, let's go ahead and tour you around Sadusit Tani Hotel. Let's go! Actually, my first time here dito sa Dusit guys and sobrang amazing, sobrang laki niya and sobrang ganda ng pool dito which is napapamilibutan lang ng rooms so yung mga rooms is nasa taas yung sa ground is yung restaurant, lobby and parang tatlo yeah. adalawa yung restaurants dito then yung sa loob is yung ballroom area and then lobby and then yung gym and dito sa ground floor so punta na tayo sa event area guys let's go
and fight over their territory with other eagles to maintain control of their precious food source at home. This is also why our foundation uses the birds we observe in their natural environment to determine the health of the entire forest, the balance and variety of trees and other organisms that thrive there. With everything happening, what will our future look like? Will our children be able to see and observe these beautiful creatures in their natural habitats? Will future generations be able to view these trees and plants and birds and animals we know and love embedded in our history, stories, and culture? Hanggang sa picture na lang ba? Igugul mo na lang ba? Anong itsura niya? What can we do? What can you do? Alone, we can do so little. But together, we can do so much more. EGIP Foundation. And a hope for a better future. But all this taken into account, it all comes down to the basics. For us, the need for action is urgent and crucial for the survival of our race. Crucial for the survival of all species. Personally, it would be terrible to go down in history as the only species that successfully wiped itself out. But then again, if that is true and that happens, there will be no one left to hear our story. On a simpler tone, we simply love the great outdoors. Right, Alec? <laughs> My husband, Alec Van Dierendong, has taught me to love nature better if I didn't love it already to begin with. I have not known anyone personally that has planted more trees than you. Now, House. to your right, to those who were able to enter their place, to their right, are frames, pictures of animals that Alec beautifully took during trips with his father in Africa. And of course, with a mom. <laughs> Tita, of course. And it perfectly captured Alec's love for nature, love for environment. And for those of us who played with a team, for those of us who are with organizations, for those of us who are leadership students, you might have heard this. The organization is a reflection of the leader. And of course, Alec, his father, fondly called Dr. Darwin, because of his love for the environment. Through their Rotary Club, and in partnership with the Philippine Eagle Foundation and started reforestation work and mangrove propagation as one of their first initiatives. As their aspirations to protect the forest and the wildlife therein, where most of the products of their pharmaceutical company, the Eurogenerics International Philippines, come from, they understand the value of these resources and continue to do impactful environmental projects. Through these efforts, several areas in Davao City were found to have a serious need for protection and rehabilitation. They also found that most of the remaining forests in the city were owned and managed by the indigenous people communities, which leads them to the Ubu Manuhu community in Barangay Carmen in Baguio District, Davao City. After meeting and consulting the tribal leaders of the Ubu Manuhu tribe, they began their work on repairing the damage caused by the logging industry within their ancestral domain and devised a community development plan, a 10-year plan to protect and manage the forest, covering an area of 2,998 hectares, while providing sustainable livelihood to the community in return. What seems green is actually covered in coconut grass. EGIP Foundation started out with wanting to protect the land 
and reforest it. But in the process, we learned that the best method is to first enable the communities that live there and help them find other means of income. For this reason, the foundation then established, trained, capacitated, and deputized the first Mindanao Bantay Bukit team, composed of willing volunteers from the IP community to help them take active participation in caring for their domain. A monthly monitoring and foot patrolling is done to make sure that the forest and its wildlife within are protected. The Bantay Buki team also does some flora and fauna inventories and apprehend forest violators, report them, and forward the information to competent authorities for legal and appropriate actions. HIP Foundation from the beginning. Am I right? Yeah. Okay, so thank you very much for being here. I'm glad you all get to know each other. There's so many uh, people here that are talented, creative, hardworking, and intelligent, and have many, many reasons to connect with each other and find means to really achieve our goals. Right? So thank you for being here and connecting with each other. I'd like to call on uh, a very special person because a famous saying that is said again and again and again and I'd like to say it again because it's very relevant tonight. Behind every successful man is... Yes, Ma'am Maggie? Of course, a successful, supportive woman too. And I'm not talking about me, my darling, no. I'm talking about your mother. Miss Bing Bandirendong, please join us in the front. Because without Miss Bing Bandirendong, I am sure EGIP Foundation would not have found the light of day because she is the rising star behind her husband. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, diba? That's the love of a woman and the power that it has for her man and her son as well. So thank you for being the light and the reason that this foundation found 13 years of reforestation and success. And I'd like to call on stage as well, um, Joshua, if you're still here. <laughs> you work very hard. Ah, there you are. Um, our project director and lead biologist, 
and EGIP Foundation. The one-man show, the guy that does it all and makes it all happen in the foundation. Without him, also, the foundation wouldn't see the light of day. So thank you for being here. Um, another person I'd like to call here is, of course, uh, the Datus and Madam, your wife, also. Please come with us in the front. Palihong ko at hindi mga dato po kay tungod sa inyo ha na ami lugar na mahita mo tanan sa among gusto mahimo at ma-share sa inyo ha maka-benefit ta tanan sa inyong wako nga lugar proud ka ayo na naka-partner ta salamat so we are by the way celebrating 13 years of partnership with the dato from the Obo Manodo tribe. So it's really a blessing that we have 13 years together. Salamat po sa inyong tiwala sa amua. Sir, basic na mo'y gusto i-share diri sa amua tanan karon. Palihog po. Una ko'y kasi nga lai, si Jesus Walay. Kay pila na katuwit nga nagsulot sila siya sa amua. Nga nahimo nga staff ni Cherbert, um, takan po siya ngayon mo. Unya, happy ba mo sa nahita mo sa inyong lugar? Oh. Unya, happy ba mo sa parang plano sa future? Kabalo mo. Ah, di kabalo mo. Gabi sa'yo, gani ko, sir. Try hard mo yung upload ko. Okay. Kung lison ka English, lison po ko upisang yun. Para yung hata, sir. But thank you sa inyong presence there. And I'd like to also call, of course, here uh, in the front, all of the Batay Bukit. Without them, the forest, the trees, the birds, the geotagging would not happen. The Felix was been with the company for very long. Thank you, Felix. You must have seen a younger version of him on the pictures. Guys, please join us. Yes. And as we come to a close, yes, I'd like to propose a toast. Our final toast, so I hope everyone has their glass in hand. And this toast is for the most beautiful lady in the world. The strongest, the most resilient, the woman behind life, the secret of happiness and hope. No one else but Mother Earth. So cheers to Mother Earth. And cheers to all of you.